Hello Libra, welcome back. My name is Rosa. Thank you once again for tuning into my channel. Today I bring you a weekly Love Vibes reading. This is just a general reading, so take what speaks and leave what doesn't. For those of you who are tuning in for the very first time, I'm also on Instagram where I do offer a variety of separate readings over on my IGTV channel. If that speaks to you, then feel free to connect with me over there. I will leave a description on how to find me in the descriptions box below. Okay, guys. Now, um, I, for this particular reading, I'm using these two decks. We've got the Dreamers Tarot and I'm using the Native Heart Healing Oracle by Melanie Ware. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, these are my daughter's oracle decks and she so kindly allowed me to use these for this week's weekly Love Vibes reading. So bless her little heart. I haven't used these before, so I saw them, she inspired me and I'm like, that's it. I've got to use them for these readings this week. <laughs> How are you, Libra? It is the full moon in Sagittarius currently. And how are those energies playing out for you guys? <clears throat> Alrighty, so we're getting an overall energy for Libra regarding love and relationships. And the card that's coming out is the solar Plexus chakra. Now I feel like you are really stepping into your power with this card, Libra. Um, because in the pre-shuffle we got the two of pentacles in reverse, and that tells me that you are finally excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Um, you are finally making a decision regarding two key people in your life I feel like that maybe perhaps you have been sort of going back and forth between two people that you may be in love with or interested in um, or perhaps maybe someone was doing that with you and you are just fully embracing your worth this week you're fully stepping into your confidence and your power and saying that's it, um, I know what I want, I know what it is that I deserve and this is, I'm, I'm sensing with this card here, it's a very strong, empowering energy, okay, I feel like, I feel like Libra, you are, you have had enough you're fed up, you've had enough and you're putting your foot down and you are making some strong, firm, healthy, solid decisions in your life regarding love and relationships, okay? I feel like you're letting go of some people and you're deciding on the ones that you do want to stick around. So I hope that speaks to you. I'm going to the tarot now and we'll just draw some extra cards. Okay, we've got the cherry in reverse. We've got the tower in reverse. Ooh. We've got the world in reverse. We've got the seven of cups in reverse. We've got ten of pentacles in reverse. Interesting that they're all reversals, Libra. That's okay. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with reversals. It just means we get a different interpretation. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like with regards to all these cards being reversed, um, I'm actually feeling like we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Interesting. I'm feeling like this is more about you stepping into your power. This is an inward journey regarding love this week. Okay. I feel that through your experiences, 
through your connections with others. Um, it's really forcing you to step into this beautiful, empowering, I am worthy energy. Okay. So I just feel like you're going through a bit of an inward um, journey regarding love. We've got the chariot in the reversal. I feel like what this is saying here is that um, something wasn't moving in the direction that you had hoped. A relationship, someone that you loved, someone that you were connected to. It just wasn't moving in the direction that you were hoping for it to move in, Libra. It's on pause. It's on hold. And this card saying, well, I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want that. Like it's not moving in the direction that I had hoped and wished for. So I feel like with the tower moment in reverse, you're finally realizing this is not going anywhere. It's a slow uncovering of, it's a slow uncovering and realization that this relationship isn't going anywhere. It's actually on pause. Um, so it's a slow realization. You're, you're slowly working that out. And it's forcing you to, you know, cut those cords and make that final decision, which you will. I feel you will, Libra. Okay. The world in reverse pretty much says the same thing as the chariot. Um, there's no growth here with the world in reverse there's no growth there's no um i don't see a new chapter unfolding here regarding someone that you're connected to okay um i feel like for some of you librans with the world in reverse it could speak of um, distance maybe this person is at a distance from you maybe this person lives overseas or interstate um, maybe it takes a bit of travel for this person to come to you but I feel like if this person does live far away or if you do live far away from this person I feel like they're not coming towards you okay I don't see you coming together reconnecting or reconnect it's, I just don't see it in the cards and I feel with the seven of cups in reverse I feel that you are starting to see that this was all just an illusion what you once thought was going somewhere um, you realize now no this was just an illusion I was wearing my rose tinted glasses and now they're finally coming off. These glasses are finally coming off and you're, you're slowly realizing the truth of this connection. Okay. At one point, this connection um, was too good to be true with the seven of cups, right? It was just too good to be true. And I feel that you were taken in by this person, Libra. You were very much attracted to this person. Okay. Um, externally, they appeared like they had it all going on for them. All right. You were very much attracted to them. They externally, they fit or ticked all the boxes for you. But I feel with this card, what this card is saying, that all that glitters is not gold. And you realize that now. You, you realize that now the glasses have come off. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. This does speak of um, a loss here. A loss within a family dynamic, um, a marriage, a loss, a marriage, a divorce. Okay, this could speak of divorce. Um, 
perhaps someone that you're connected to, Libra, is you realize that it was too good to be true because they're still they could still be married and you're realizing look this was this wasn't going anywhere because they're they're staying put but it's more like a um a loss for you but i feel that with the solar plexus chakra card as the main energy i feel like you're going to be okay with that you you realize that you're worthy of so much more than this this person appeared to have it all together they did they have the house they have the car they have the family unit you may have belonged to this but there has been a loss it hasn't turned out the way you had anticipated or expected because you realize it was just an illusion you realize now. Okay. But look, Libra, with the Nine of Swords in the reversal, um, I feel that there is a bit of a push and pull energy with you guys. All right. I feel that during the day you walk around shining you walk around like you've got it all together okay you're putting on this um you're expelling this energy like no um i'm standing my ground i know what i want i'm worthy and that's awesome this is like a really powerful energy and this is how you conduct yourself during the daytime but when it comes to night time, when you're by yourself, when no one can see, when the curtains are drawn and the doors are locked, okay, and you're in bed at night, a different energy comes out. You feel lonely, you feel scared, you feel frightened, okay, fears come up to the surface, anxiety, deep stress, deep worry comes up, but that's okay, okay, that's okay. You will work through it. It's just going to take a little bit longer because it is in the reversal. It is in the reversal. So um, do what you need to with that energy. I feel that with this full moon in Sagittarius, okay, maybe take a deeper look at what you do need to let go of, you know, regarding your stories that you have around this love connection. So you can allow the healing process to take place. So there you have it, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading, you guys. Feel free to leave your likes and positive comments below. And until next time, I'll, I'll speak to you soon.